the silence. which has nothing to do with the absence of sounds. As always, the foundation of our meetings. Of our lives, really. Of life, really. It's like the canvas on which the story of our lives is painted on. No matter what is happening in the painting, the canvas is always untainted, always pure, always remains free of the painting, even though Paradoxically, it becomes one with the painting. No matter how dramatic, exciting, beautiful or tragic, the scenery may be it's good to understand and to experience and to live up to that understanding that if someone would come around and wash off the painting. This silent background, this untouched silence is still
there in its pristine glory and its purity. Its colorlessness, its transparency allows for this beautiful variety of paintings, of sceneries, of tragedies, The magic is as more we tune into this silent background, the substratum of the play, like in our meetings, hopefully, this silence comes to life. It's so happy to be seen. It celebrates in evaporating this beautiful perfume of peace. Of presence, or happiness, and then somehow I can't stop smiling because there's such a joy bubbling in coming together in this silence in our shared being.
When we rest like that, in this silence, naturally, effortlessly, we recognize, we realize that it is the essence of all of our experiences, the essence of our being. Different experiences pass this silence thoughts feelings perceptions like this sounds of my words, they come and go out of the silence, they emerge and dissolve back in this silence. Everything comes and goes, but this silence is always there, independent of the sounds coming and going. In fact, without this silence, without the canvas, there is no painting, there is no story, there is no me. Everything in our experience depends on this silence, but this silence does not depend on our experience. is the solid rock that we can count on, that we can trust on, that we can build our life upon. as it is so fundamental, so crucial, so essential to all of our experience. We give it some extra space, we could say. 
please don't take my words for real or literal. These are all just pointers, of course. Language is always limited. So we give it a little extra space in the beginning of our meetings. We tune into it, so to speak. Even it's always there, like the canvas underneath the painting. We tend to get so fascinated by the scenery, by the play. that some of us may still sometimes tend to overlook this essence, this foundation of our experience. The silence and the greatest paradox of all times, if we want to be a bit pathetic, is like the greatest magician. It's always there. It's always the essence of our experience, of our being. There is no way we could lose it or not be it or not even experience it, we might come into that, what I mean by that. Because it is an experience, even it's not a normal, phenomenal human experience. Nevertheless, it is experienced all the time. And still in this great magic play that we play with ourselves we convince ourselves that we don't know don't experience what we truly are.
we play such a successful magic game with ourselves. that makes us believe convincingly that we don't know, that we don't understand, that we don't experience this happiness, this peace, this presence continuously. It's like the blue sky that I sometimes use as a metaphor. But with like the blue sky would forget its spaciousness, skyness, and what identify with the clouds passing by would take the clouds so serious, would be so obsessed, we could say, by the weather which we see sometimes in human expression. That all there is apparently is the weather, the clouds, the winds, the thoughts, the feelings, the sense perceptions. That which is experienced becomes apparently exclusively what is here and the sky, the blue sky that is the container, so to speak, for all the weather is apparently forgotten. But no matter if it's forgotten or not, it's still skying. It's still holding the space, as we say these days in some circles holding the space for the clouds to be. <laughs> it's not holding anything in reality, it just is. Happily doing nothing, skying, allowing the weather to pass. <laughs> <laughs>